Hey guys, welcome back to Corpse Party. So as you all know in the last episode, we kind of did like the stupidest thing you can ever do in a damn horror game and decided, let's fit lit up, gang. Great. This isn't going to work well for us, though. I think everybody kind of knows that. Um, so right now, we are, uh, we are playing as Seiko. And, uh, yeah. Oh, what's going on? Okay, yeah, I quite though. Okay, so I have no idea what they want us to do right now. Can we go back? Can we go back and apologize? Yeah! Nope. Not another earthquake? Oh god. There you go. Is it over? Oh. Uh, are you okay now? We should probably go see. Okay, so it doesn't look like much has changed over here. I think I just heard somebody calling out. Um. Uh. Oh no. Crap. Oh shit. Uh. Nope. Nope. Let's wait. Alright guys, what I went ahead and did is I went ahead and saved, so this way, if we make a dumb decision, we've got our butts covered. Yes? That was... the first time, huh? The first time I ever fought with Naomi like that. Sigil? Uh oh. Oh no. From the moment Seiko and I parted ways, the fear I'd been harboring since I got here just kept growing stronger and stronger. I felt like something else was in my head, like I was under some alien influence. In my mentally distraught state, I ran all throughout the building, frantically searching for Seiko. I just kept calling her name over and over again. When I finally came back to my senses, I found myself standing in the third floor hallway. Seiko! Seiko! Where are you? Come on, Seiko! Don't leave me by myself in here! Seiko? Is that you? Probably not. Oh boy. Seiko, did you have to use the- What? Okay, okay. So we don't go there. What? the hell was that? Uh, hang on everybody! Okay, once again, went ahead and saved our butts. Saved. Seiko? What the fuck is that? Oh god, oh god, come on. No, no, no. Dude, dude, don't give me that shit. Naomi. Oh. Fuck! Naomi, get up! Get off the floor! Get off the floor! Seiko! No! Get up! Go. Fuck! Okay, um, uh, 
Why? Why? No! No! They all be Seiko, you're alive! Hold on, I'll get you down! We don't have time for anything, um... Okay. Uh, sorry, oh, what do I do? What do I do? The noose around Seiko's neck is attached directly to the ceiling, and there's nothing at her feet. All attempts to help are just strangling her further. Oh, God. Okay. Um, I have to... Her neck... Ah, uh, no, no, no. That's just making it worse. I need a platform. Something for her to stand on. Good, good, Jimmy, go get it! Okay, Naomi, I know we don't have time to worry about what's in here. Don't worry about what's in it. Don't worry about what's in it. We have to go get Seiko. That's our main concern right now. Fuck everything else. Go get Seiko. We, yes, there you go. Don't worry about it. We can get rid of maggots later. Let's just go get Seiko. Let's go get Seiko. Fuck it. Don't worry about it. Go! Go, 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 go. Seiko, goddammit, don't you fucking do this shit. Seiko, come right here. The filthy bucket fell from Naomi's hands. Don't you do this. Don't you fucking do this. With blank eyes, Seiko swung back and forth slowly in her noose. All life had been completely drained from her face. No. No! 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 Why? Why would you hang yourself? You were smiling and laughing all this time. Didn't you say we'd find a way out of here together? <laughs> Stop this. Don't leave me all by myself. <laughs> say something. <laughs> oh, Seiko. I want to apologize to you for what I said. Up until just a few hours before, I was laughing and playing in school with my best friend. Now, here she was, right in front of my eyes, lifeless, hanging from a noose. How could I possibly accept that as reality? I can't believe this is real. I refuse to accept it. It just... Fuck you. Fuck you. Hang on a second, guys. Okay, guys. Um, I know uh, I said I was going to go ahead and take a look and see if there's any way to avoid... Um, what the hell just happened? And so instead, this time, we're going to run after Naomi instead of just, you know, not going to follow her. Because I want to know what the hell happened. Everything was... Fuck you. No, the floor's collapsed. Did this happen because of the earthquake? I can't take this. Naomi! Oh, fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. And now basically I don't I don't have another choice. I have to go this way. What? Yeah, honey. We really might not ever make it back home again, huh? This isn't a nightmare. It's actually happening. I guess before anything happens to either one of us, I should tell her 
how I feel. Don't you dare. Don't you do this to me. Or not. There's really no way it would ever work out. What? Try as I might, I'd stand no chance against Mojita. Are you fucking kidding me right now? You mean to tell me that... Fuck this game. Fuck this game. So, um, needless to say, I went back and tried multiple different things, and, um, there is nothing I can do. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm actually crying. Sorry, guys. Um. Okay. Uh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's... let's go. Oh, God. Damn it. Whew! I should just about do it. I hate being in charge of the gym equipment. All because of that stupid co-ed meet in two days. Why can't the boys class rep take care of the grunt work? <laughs> yeah. Freaking Kishinuma. Doesn't he know what a delicate flower I am? Most I've ever had to lift before was chopsticks, and he expects me to lug around a damn pummel horse? Oh. Naomi, that is one pretty sight. Huh? What is? Dad booty you got! God damn it, Seiko! What? Yours is way cuter! God damn it! Mine's all plump like a duck's. What are you saying? You got what they call childbearing hips. It's a good thing. It means when you get older, you can pump out all the babies you want with the greatest of ease. I'm actually kind of happy to hear you say that. <laughs> you do have a certain motherly quality to you, Naomi. It's no wonder you're so good with kids. But, of course, I'm hoping to raise four children one day. Four? God, all I want is two. Sounds like you'll be making some lucky guy real happy. Hmm? No! God, no! No! Yeah! No! No! Chapter 2 Fuck this school. <laughs> oh shit, Miss Yui. Wasn't that Nakashima's voice? And she was screaming. What do I do? I can't let anything happen to my students. Well, you're, I think you're a little... You're a little late to each. <laughs> Oh, God. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Shinozaki, it's all right. Please calm down. But you heard it, too. Outside. Her voice. I did. I think she's hyperventilating. Give her a paper bag to breathe into, but there aren't any around. I guess all I can do is try to calm her breathing before she passes out. 
It probably wasn't a real voice. I'm sure it just sounded like one. Maybe it was the building settling. I'll go check it out, though, and see if I can figure out what it was for sure. You two can stay right here, okay? <gasps> Miss Yui! Wait! Don't leave us! Shinozaki... It's okay, Teach. I'll keep an eye on Shinozaki. Oh, okay. Or better yet, how about I go take a look, and you wait here? Not a chance. Until I can verify everyone's safety, I want to keep you two out of harm's way. Well, okay, I guess. Be careful, though. No! Look, she'll be fine. Jeez. I'm counting on you, Kishinuma. I'll be back in no time. No problem. Oh, God. No. Not the split you know, up again. I'm actually scared. My legs are even shaking. I have no idea what's going on. My head is spinning. I can't make sense of anything. My chest hurts like my heart is encased in ice. And I can't shake this dizziness or this nausea. Oh, God. But when I think about the possibility of something horrible happening to my dear students, I can feel a newfound energy welling up from within me. I feel like, if nothing else, I can at least play the part of the level-headed adult. Miss Yui. Valor, thy name is Education. Miss Yui. Oh, I can move. God damn it. Oh, Miss Yui. Return home immediately, those who remain here. We'll go hungry and die of starvation. Huh? That reminds me. Poor Bonet is all alone. He must be Oh you god, you have a cat! God damn it! Where do I go? What do I do? Can I go? Can I go find him? Oh, God, no. Fucking Jesus. Can I open this? It's locked. Fuck you. Fuck this game. <sighs> Fix the wall. Okay, so that can't be opened, but this one can be. Uh, hang on. <laughs> Okay, I went ahead and saved. Okay, um... What the fuck am I doing in here? Nope. Nothing? Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna stay in here then. See ya. Bye. So... Which means... I don't wanna go that way. I wanna go this way. Can I go this way? Please let me go this way. Uh, no I can't. I can't in here. Oh... God... Damn it, is there anything down here? Oh, hey, yo, what's up? Can I take you? Mm hmm? There's something here. A crystal shining with a faint purple glow is nestled amongst the debris on the ground. Take it? Fuck yeah, I'm gonna take it. Power stone, okay. I don't know what that is. Miss Yui? I think... That really was a scream we heard. Huh. Did you find something? Yeah, some kind of gemstone lying on the ground. Looks like a ruby or... No, probably an amethyst? Kishinuma, you can identify gemstones? No, not really. Shinozaki's the one to ask for that kind of stuff. Is that so? Well, then maybe I should give it to you. Yeah, I gave it to her. I guess now's probably not the best time for that. But will you take it and give it to her once she's calmed down a bit? It might make her feel a little bit better. No problem.
Hopefully that'll help you feel better. I don't. I know it's like diamonds are a girl's best friend, but I don't know if that's gonna apply in this area. And I'm more of a sapphire person, or an emerald, you know, whatever. What's this? Hang on. What are you? Oh fuck you! What the hell does that mean? Don't discriminate! Come on! Jerk. Hmm? It's a key, isn't it? The label on the key reads 3A. Take it? Fuck okay, yeah, I'm gonna take it. Alright. The door is now unlocked. Hello? Oh! Yeah! Well, if it isn't the teacher, are you all by yourself? Decided to stop shaking and shivering with the other two back in 1A, did you? Well, you're rude. I'll have you know, I heard one of my students screaming, and I have to set out to find her. I see, regrettably. That won't be possible. The school exists in a nexus where multiple dimensions overlap. It's but a single closed space in a sea of closed spaces. In other words, even though you may be in the same school as your screaming student, you and she occupy different dimensions. Which means you two can never meet. If one of you should die, perhaps your body or your spirit may move from one space to another, or... Maybe you can find some means of traversing the planes freely, as they do. Yeah, you're kind of a bitch. Consider this fair warning, even if you should find the exact spot from which your student's screams emanated. She herself may not be there, and if she isn't, there's not a thing you can do about it. But I heard her voice. It's true that, an, that other children have been brought here quite recently, children who, by all appearances, are indeed your students. But as I suggested, time and space do not behave the same as you assume here. They're fragmented. God, I'm having, like, word problems today. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> you say you heard a scream. That scream may have taken place only a few minutes ago. Or, perhaps, it occurred in another space many hours previous. Oh, fuck. It may even have been an echo from the future. Who's to say? Uh, with this phenomenon as it is, it's entirely possible for two closed spaces to have some small influence on one another, even when out of sight. A sink. It doesn't matter. I can't just ignore that agonizing scream and go on my merry way. Step aside. Miss Yui, I don't, I don't, I don't know if that was a good idea. Oh, that wasn't a good plan. Step aside. Why don't you fuck off, you damned corporal? Uh-oh. <gasps> An earthquake? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we gotta go. Dude. Huh? <gasps> Miss Yui! Uh, uh, uh. You no! Know, come on! In all the world, the most vile, untrustworthy individuals of them all are you school teachers. Oh, come on, that's not fair! All you care about is your own well-being. You're not worried about your students. You're just worried about being held responsible if something should ever happen to them. Dude, that's not cool. You don't know Miss Yui. Uh, this really, really hurts. You're all the same, every last one of you, and I won't be taken in by your lies anymore. Taken in? Oh, come, jerk! When you see a problem among your students, you just keep your distance, because you sure wouldn't want to get involved. Have to keep up appearances, right? You just pick out the problem children and chip away at them little by little until they're e they either drop out or get expelled. 
You're not disciplining them. You're just raging at them. Dude, that's not... I've never met a teacher who actually cared about her students. Not once. You... You're... Wrong. Ah! All of your students are destined to starve to death in these godforsaken halls. If they don't succumb to depression and kill themselves first. Whoa, dude! You have no idea who she is. You don't know what, anything about these people. Quit being such a jerk. There's no other possible outcome. They'll all die meaningless deaths, just like I did. And they sure won't be thinking about you when they take their final breaths. Dude. Oh. It, oh, oh, oh. Any last words, bitch? I'll tell them to, I'll tell them to your students as I end their miserable lives. Oh. Mm. Spare. Mm. <laughs> Come again. Spare my students. What was that? Please. I don't care what happens to me. Just please spare their lives. They're not your children. You're not their mother. Are you really still pretending to care about them? Filthy liar. Did you know when you die in this accursed place, you experience the pain you felt at the moment of your death for all eternity? And I'm going to crush you to death. The pain must be unbearable, unimaginable, and you're going to feel that pain every moment of every day forevermore. Damn. I'm saying that a lot. Jesus, I don't know what else to say. Ask me to spare you. It's what you really want, isn't it? Be honest with me, and I'll consider sparing your life. No, you know what? Fuck you! Don't you harm a hair on their heads, you hear me? You're one stubborn little bitch. Oh. Uh, uh, mm. <gasps> this is excruciating. I think my ribcage is broken. It feels like someone's pushing this cabinet down on top of me. With superhuman force, I'm losing consciousness. This really <laughs> does it hurt? Oh, poor baby! Your corpse will look just like a dead frog on the side of the road. Every body live. Oh God, no! I love you all. Miss Yui. No. Fuck, dude! Oh my god. So we lose Seiko. And now we lost Miss Yui.